Are you in a place where you're scared that you're going to hate what you write? Don't let that fear block that creative part of you that is trying to get out. What I find really interesting when I'm working with writers who are blocked by fear is even though the fear that they feel is real and uncomfortable, it doesn't stop them wanting to write, which is why they come to work with me. It's a little bit like someone who keeps climbing to the top of a building and standing on the edge of the roof, even though the whole act fills them with terror. And yet there isn't something in them that says, look, dude, this is always so scary. Why don't you stop doing this? So basically what that says is, however you feel before you write, whatever that feeling is, I guarantee that after you write, that feeling will be different. So what does this say? Essentially what it says is that there is something else going on. Otherwise you'd feel the fear and you would just say, do you know what, this is too much for me, I'm not cut out for this. Something is bringing you back to the edge of that rooftop. And that's what we put our focus on. Oh my God, I feel totally different. So this other part of you that wants to write, that no matter how scared you are, it won't give up. And that part that won't give up doesn't really care how scared you are of it because it keeps showing up. It keeps sort of nudging you. It keeps taking you to the edge of that rooftop. So in a way, there must be a part of that urge that feels rather good about itself to keep taking you to that place of fear. So what we do is we really start to focus on that part. What's so important about this feeling? What's so important about writing that keeps taking us to this place where we're really scared of what may come out and won't give up? But sometimes I write and I get up and I think that was shit, it wasn't what I wanted to say, and then I say, wait, these thoughts, they don't bring any pleasure. So I stop and I just wait and I just know that eventually writing will take me to that place of joy. So come back to that rooftop analogy. You've got this desire to write, which is taking you right to the top of the building, right to the very edge, and you're thinking, oh God, but I'm really scared of what's gonna come out, maybe even scared about what other people think. But then you come back to, but despite the fact that I'm really scared, I'm here and I keep showing up. So what if I start to think about that part that maybe even wants to take that step further? And it's when you begin to take that step further, when you're really connected to the part that wants to write, no matter what, no matter how scared you are, and you take that step, suddenly you realize that you're not falling off the edge of a building, you're actually beginning to fly. And then when you're beginning to fly, you start to realize, oh my God, this thing that I couldn't give up on is actually a beautiful belief that there's something really magical going on inside me. And really, I don't think there's any other way to describe that feeling that wants to be creative other than a completely magical feeling. You know it. I know you've experienced it. And so it's to really put your faith in that feeling. It's not going to go away because it's just too incredible to go away. And when you really give yourself to that feeling, trust me, it will guide you. And the place that it guides you is up into the sky so that you fully get to experience how magical it is. And the more you practice that, the more you practice coming to the top of that building, showing up for your writing, just seeing what comes, the more you will start to grow your faith that what is inside you is something purely magical. I'm here to support you. So if you're having any struggles, any blocks, any pain points in your writing, drop them in the comments below. And I will see you next Monday.